How's it going, y'all? We have an amazing surprise for you. Kylie and I, and my parents, uh, have started raising these amazing chickens. Uh, and you know, we've already had, we already had six and two ducks already. Um, but we decided, you know what, we had to pick up two more. So we went and grabbed, uh, these two, they're called I Am Samanis. Uh, so here's a little look into what they look like. They're little three week old babies. Check them out. Oh yeah. Have we decided a name yet, Kylie? No, not yet. No? Where's the other one at? He's, yeah, he's, in he's hiding in there. He doesn't want to come out. So yeah guys, we can't wait to show you guys the rest of our flock, show you the amazing coop that I built. Um, it took me a few weeks, but it's really, it's really, really cool. Super do it yourself. Um, and yeah guys, so we look forward to sharing that with you guys in this video, showing you our bird and farm family. So thank you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to this video, and let's get into it. All right, so you guys wanna see something funny? If I start walking down this back part right here, the all of them, We'll start. <laughs> they're gonna start getting up. They're already they're already getting restless over there. The two ducks like me. They'll let me like get close and pick them up. But the chickens are. We got them when they're a little older, about four weeks. So they didn't. I don't think they attach as much. So we're gonna walk down this back part right here and see what they do. Oh look, they're being good today. They must know they're on camera. Oh, here we go. Where is your leader? I'm convinced that this one right here is the the leader. She's the biggest one. And since like day one, she's like been the first to like figure out where the food is, get out of the coop, all that. And you can just see like, if we can get a little bit closer, you can kind of see like, just look at her feathers. So beautiful. She is a Easter Egger. Uh, that's the species that she is. And then these two right here are called Barred Rocks. And then the white one over there is a Brahma. And that's the one that, she, she loves the ducks. The ducks and the Brahmas, the white ones, just love to stick together. Um, and then we're missing one other um, Easter egg. I have no idea where they went. Can I be sleeping? Back over here, we have our two ducks. And then I believe we have five chicken, oh, one, two, three, four. There should be one more chicken somewhere, but I don't see her. By the way, these are, these over here are all hens. So they should all be females. The two ducks, their names are the white one, or well yellow, but he's gonna turn white. His name is, or her, I don't really know guys, but we named them Dwight is the white one and Michael is the uh, brown one, the mallard, after the office characters. Um, but yeah, well, I think, judging by the way that Michael quacks, I think it's a she, and I think big Godzilla Dwight is a male. I have no idea where that other chick is. Let's go find it. We got the two babies over here, the new, the new, one, new kids on the block. What? Who are you talking to? Look what we have. We got a duckling. Come here. She likes the shade. I'm convinced it's a she. Convinced. They love to graze. The grazers. So now what I can show you guys next is the coup de gras. It's their house. I built a, basically like an 11 foot long by, well, technically with the, the run is 11 feet long by four feet wide. And then the coop is about four feet by five feet um, wide. And then both of them are probably between like five and six feet in height. Um, but they took me about one to two weeks to make. And I will show you guys. All of that. It was a really cool project that I got to do. Um, cut all the wood pieces up, put it all together like a Lego set, and it's been a pretty cool thing to do so far. So I'm gonna flip you guys to that right now. We got in here. This is their run. That's their little water bowl. We got a like a food thing. There's a ton of flies in here, which is my next thing is trying to fix that, get the flies out. 
take a step back here it's got a door it's got roofing on it so like the whole roof like the water will all uh go down that way it's on like a slant so that's the way i built it and then we got the roof over here a little hockey stick for um shepherding <laughs> just in case they don't come in at night so if we stand back from right here you guys can kind of see this whole thing and we got that's the whole coop right here so this is where we would go once the hens start to lay eggs and just open this thing on up right here hook this little latch i'm trying to do it with one hand boom and then bang we got all our little egg laying boxes right here and then in here we got all like the scratch and everything like that so this is where they poop and then up on top we kind of have these uh these roosting bars and they have windows for air there's another window right here and hey there's one right here too okay guys i have a little pet on my shoulder hey there what are you doing just must like the black shirt thinks i'm his his mother mother hen or something like that what are you doing up there huh He's probably gonna poop on me here in like any minute now because that's all chickens and ducks do is just poop everywhere. But the cuteness outweighs the poops. So if you can kind of see going around the whole thing, we got like this chicken wire and it's actually kind of like a mesh wire. Um, and sorry if you hear the chirping, it's because my little baby is right on my shoulder. So um, around the whole thing though, we put like two feet of that mesh wire. It's actually buried under this dirt right here. Um, so predators can't get in. So helps protect the chickens and the hens and all the ducks and the roosters and everyone. So it's actually wired all the way around. Then I'll give you kind of the side angle view from here. Let me back up. I'm just trying not to knock the chicken off my shoulder. That's what it looks like from the side. It's okay, be careful. So I got my little buddy over here hanging on for dear life. He does not want to get down right now. We're gonna come right through the side right here and show you this side. So this is this like back door right here, which can be taken off. So like you have to clean out the scratch in there. Like basically every six months you gotta clean that stuff out um, because it's poop and it's gotta be cleaned out. But the cool thing about that is you can use that to like, we have gardens and stuff like that. So we could put that in there. Oh, look who just flew up there. Oh, come on. Got to be careful with this one. He loves to fly for some reason. I don't know if I'm going to have to cut, like clip his wings. And there's a way to do that safely, like without hurting them. So that's the next thing I look into is if these guys fly. Because some of them don't really fly. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. All right, buddy. You can't stay up there. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Okay. Well, he's saying it's time to be done filming the, the coop. He wants to go mess around. But just, I mean, that's everything. You got this kind of whole back section right here, obviously the roofing, all that good stuff. So that's the part of the coop. And now we'll show you guys kind of, we'll give you a little closer look to the ducks and try to catch some chickens for you, all right? We have our dirty little ducks here. Dwight, who doesn't like to bath and just play in the mud all day. So I got to bathe for him. See, look at it, he does not like to be in the water. But Michael, on the other hand, loves to play in the water. Look at him. Hey, don't jump out just yet. We're not done bathing yet. It's bath time. Come on. Look at that, you can see the water just like bead right off of him. Do oh, I yeah. like a swan? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'll do it. You see it? Are you done being wet? Oh yeah. Look at how big he is. Oh, we got another flapper. They love this little bush over here. Look at him. Hey, where are you guys going? Yeah guys, one of the coolest things about all this is 
obviously being able to raise birds. Um, but there's more that goes into it than just like, oh, I get birds and I feed them. Like, it's not like caring for a dog as much. Like, we're going to go walk your dog and stuff like that. Um, like, there's different food you have to feed him for the first, like, 12, 12 to 15 weeks. Like, that's like grower starter food. Um, and basically that just, like, it has different types of, like, proteins and stuff like that. Like, for them to be, like, to grow. And then there's, like, a certain layer food. Um, like it's for specifically like laying hens that lay eggs um, to help them lay like strong shells all that stuff so they could produce you know eggs uh, daily so most like hens usually produce like eggs every like I think it's like 26 hours so if you have a good amount of hens like we do we're gonna have about like about seven uh, plus maybe if the ducks lay too because female ducks also lay eggs as well um, so we could get you know anywhere from five to eight eggs per day which is a uh, gonna be a cool thing because now we don't have to go to the store and go buy eggs we just eat our own eggs um, and even a lot of the different uh, hens that we have lay different colored eggs so for example these little cute guys right here our ladies will eventually lay um, it's like a cream colored like maybe like a blue tint blue tint egg and then those the white ones uh, the Brahmas they will lay white eggs um, and then the Easter eggers, the brown ones, will lay all different color eggs, like green, uh, brown, white, sometimes even like a bluish uh, tint as well. And that's why they're called Easter eggers, because they lay different colored eggs. And then the barred rocks, which are like those, uh, the checkered black and white ones, I believe, and I might be, I can't remember exactly, but I believe they will be laying either white or brown eggs. Um, one of the, one of the two, but the cool kind of hint about all this or trick is that if you look at a, a hen's ear, I don't know, you guys might have to let me know down in the comments, but if you look at a hen's ear, that's the color uh, egg it will end up laying. I don't know. That's what I've been reading on all this hen stuff that I've been learning. Um, and even the ducks, like the ducks are even a little bit different from the hens, right? So the ducks won't necessarily like climb up to lay eggs. So most most hens need to be like at least 12 inches off the ground to lay eggs so that's why those nesting boxes are a little bit higher up off the ground uh, than normal but the ducks just lay eggs like wherever so hopefully we get two females that'd be honestly perfect because then we could get even more eggs um, but once they start laying eggs their legs are even their eggs are even bigger than the hens eggs and they're a little bit thicker shell from what I've heard, they taste exactly the same. They're USDA approved, all that stuff. So it'll be a cool thing to see once they start laying eggs here. I believe the ducks are around close to like six weeks. And then the the other hens that I showed you are around like 10 to 12 weeks old. Um, and they start, everyone starts usually laying their first egg around six months. So we're just, I would say what, that's about halfway there. I think my math is terrible. So if you guys want to roast me in the comments, that's fine. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, it'll be cool to see them like lay their first eggs and stuff like that. Um, but the whole, like the whole process, like even for the ducks, like they have to have like this extra ingredient, which is like niacin, which helps them, helps their wings grow. Um, like so their wings don't get deformed. So I got to give that to them like every day in their food, uh, and a little bit in their water. They have to have like a certain amount, which the chickens don't eat, but the chickens can eat it. So it kind of makes it easy cause I can, cause they eat the same food, but I just add that little, that little powder in for the, for the ducks. And it's good for the chickens because it has like this garlic in it um, that's good for their immune system. So um, they've all been doing pretty well so far. So it's been been pretty fun to do all this. But again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe so you guys can follow along my mother hen journey raising all these hens. Kylie's handing me another one. We got the other little guy right here or girl. We don't know yet. Well, we kind of know, but we don't. So, again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll keep these episodes up if you guys like them. Always, you know, see the little growth of these little guys because these ones are three weeks old. So, week by week, they're just going to get bigger and bigger. So, we'll give you guys updates each week on their sizes and all that good stuff. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching to this point, And we'll see you guys in the next video.